Hi, my name is Rick Wirtz. I'm the lifeguard chief for San Diego Fire Rescue. San Diego has about 300 lifeguards that patrol about 17 miles of oceanfront coastline, as well as all of Mission Bay. In San Diego in 2015, lifeguards performed over 7,200 water rescues, as well as cliff rescues, river rescues, and a variety of different types of medical aids. Close to the heart of every lifeguard, however, is our AED program. AEDs are located in all of our vehicles and lifeguard towers, and because we have them in every part of our lifeguard service, we've had the opportunity to deploy them on many occasions and have had many tremendous success stories. This is a little bit about our AED program. Hi, my name is Bruce Jamison. I'm a lifeguard two and the AED program coordinator for the San Diego lifeguards. In 2002, the San Diego lifeguards received their first AEDs. With the partnership of San Diego Project Heartbeat, the San Diego Lifeguard AED program has grown. As of December 2015, we currently have 75 AEDs in service. My name is Jim Dunford. I'm the City of San Diego EMS Medical Director. We knew that millions of people go to San Diego beaches. What I didn't personally know was that many people actually are at risk of having cardiac arrest at the beach. Now many is still not that many, but uh, by putting an AED on every single lifeguard tower and every vehicle and in it, even every boat, um, I mean we really literally covered the waterfront with AEDs and look where we are today in this crazy unique position of having some of the most dramatic saves of all time as a consequence of what our lifeguards have actually done. As of December 2015, the San Diego Lifeguard Service has 75 AED machines in service. We have 22 AEDs stationed at main lifeguard towers. We have 38 lifeguard vehicles equipped with AEDs, 10 AEDs on all our bay and ocean vessels, including three on the fireboats. We have four AEDs in our cliff and river rescue vehicles. Since 2002, there have been 79 deployments. Of those 79, we have successfully saved 16 lives. You will now hear some of their survivor stories. On August 28, 2004, at 9 a.m., my first life ended and my second life began. I say this because at the age of 53, while surfing at a remote location well south of Point Loma Nazarene College, I suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. Without warning, I collapsed on the beach, my heart stopping. I was in the semifinals when this happened. The surf was pretty good. I had had to surf two other heats to get in the semis. I don't remember ever putting on a wetsuit really? or catching a wave. I don't even remember grabbing my chest or complaining about pain. If I remember correctly, it was February 27th of 2013. We were all hyped up to go hit the surf. The surf was pretty good. and I, I was not feeling super energetic that day jumped through the first wave and there's another one right behind it jumped through that and suddenly I just felt super dizzy I just and I had no strength and the last thought going through my head was how long can you hold your breath the lifeguards have an extraordinary response time they have eyes on everybody on the beach and they have an AED, so that's the trifecta for success stories. Copy, have visual, send back up.
And then my next memory is, uh, it was like I was laying on my back, coming out of the darkness, I heard medical jargon being spouted here and there, and, uh, and I look up and there's like, it's like a football huddle, like if you were laying on the ground of uh, you guys, and oh, he's awake, or whatever, I can't remember the exact words. Fortunately, miraculously, the lifeguards had been gifted defibrillators just two weeks prior. They had yet to use one on a real person. When the lifeguard sergeant got his first look at me, he said he had never seen anyone look as dead. I woke up in a hospital bed, scripts in a cold-induced coma, uh, 24 hours later. Since 2002, the San Diego Lifeguard Service has had 79 AED deployments. Of those 79 deployments, 16 lives have been saved. Well, I, I put the lifeguards right in that category of the, you know, the highest rates of return. So, you know, to kind of say that we've had that many on top of these many attempts, we have to be honest, some of those attempts were sort of futile attempts. That's why I really like to focus on people who really had a meaningful chance of survival, who hadn't been found in the surf two hours after they went missing. You know. Of the 79 AED deployments, 19 were related to cardiac arrests, 22 for drownings or near drownings, six were scuba related emergencies, five trauma injuries, four drug and alcohol overdoses, one respiratory failure, and 12 unknown. The patients that our lifeguards are saving are the classic patients that are too young to die. For me, winning a coalition event has always been a big deal. I've been trying to win this event for 20 years. And to win it a year after having this, finding dead in the water and having a quadruple bypass, was pretty huge. My younger grandson was just a baby at the time. And the whole time I was recovering and stuff, I'm just going, God, I'm going to actually watch this kid grow up, you know? <laughs> it's all these milestones that I never would have experienced with the grandkids. I, I think that's the big part. After all the frenzied attempts to save me, it was the defibrillator that brought me back to life. All these wonderful, wonderful people's efforts would have meant nothing if the AED was not there for me. The San Diego Fire Rescue Department and San Diego Project Heartbeat continue to ensure the safety of all its citizens and visitors. The stories you have just heard would not have been possible if it weren't for the use of AEDs. Thank you for watching.